Today on Sports Central, we're going to have a college football game preview and prediction on one of the big games coming up in the Big 12 in Week 14. And this one's going to be between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Iowa State Cyclones, two of these teams of which have been pretty good this season. There's no doubt on that, especially for Iowa State, who's currently a team in the top 15. And they're knocking on the door of the top 10 now. We are for West Virginia. It's been a pretty good season for them as well in comparison to recent years. And they're trying to pull a big upset here against the Cyclones. There's no doubt on that one. We're going over a full game preview and prediction on this game here today, starting out with your team trends. And of course, West Virginia beat TCU previously. 24 to 6 was the final score there. And that game was a few weeks back. West Virginia hasn't played since November 14th when that game against TCU was played. So we haven't seen the Mountaineers in quite a while now. Uh, but for Iowa State, they had a huge win against Texas last week, 23 to 20 was their final score there. So that was a big win against a pretty good Texas team, which the Longhorns have definitely been a contender throughout the or throughout the Big 12 this season. So, yeah, that was a pretty good win there for the Cyclones. There's no doubt on that. I mean, Texas is certainly a good team. I consider that to be a very good win for Iowa State. And that's kind of been the trend for the Cyclones lately. I mean, they shut down Kansas State completely the week before that. They gave them a shutout, 45 to nothing. Uh, they had a big one over Baylor, got Kansas a couple weeks back as well. So Iowa State is currently on a four-game winning streak, and they're definitely looking like one of the best teams in the Big 12. I also believe, I mean, if you look at the standings right now, Iowa State is actually on the top of the Big 12. They're 7-1 and one in the conference, 7-2 and two overall, and Oklahoma is right on their tail. So there's no doubt that Oklahoma is going to try to take their position by the time the season's done. You know, for West Virginia, they're coming up with a good win to TCU, 24-6, but this has been a very inconsistent West Virginia team this season. I mean, it's been a pretty good year. They're 5-3 and three right now, so, I mean, the record isn't terrible, um, but they do have a one-game winning streak, and they have taken uh, some, some kind of confusing losses down the stretch. I mean, they shouldn't have lost to Texas Tech, that's for sure. I mean, this could be a 6-2 and two West Virginia team right now that could quite possibly be ranked if they did not take a loss there to the Red Raiders. So, and all around, though, for West Virginia, it's still a great season. This is a good opportunity for them to get a big win under their belt because Iowa State right now, according to the AP poll, is ranked number 12 in the nation. So they're as high as they've been in quite a while. So this is a big game for the Cyclones moving forward. This game's going to be on Saturday, December 5th, 3.30 p.m. Eastern in Ames. So the Cyclones will be your home team here. Spread Clinton says Iowa State by 7. Yes, man, has got Iowa State 65%. And the Vegas prediction is also going with Iowa State, 30 to 30 being the current projected final score. So... Iowa State's pretty favored here. I mean, all three of our sources are going uh, with the Cyclones here, which isn't much of a surprise. I mean, Iowa State's got a lot of momentum heading into this into this game here because they've won four straight, and they're looking pretty good all around. They've got a couple of really good uh, wins, especially in the past couple of weeks. So Iowa State is coming into this game on fire. West Virginia definitely uh, haven't, hasn't played since November 14th. So this is going to kind of be a weird shift for them but i mean i definitely think west virginia is still talented enough to pull an upset no doubt on that here's a stack comparison of this game west virginia's got 29 points per game 17 points allowed they got 285 pass yards a game 156 rush yards and then for yards allowed they got 161 passing and 112 rushing as for iowa state they got 33 points per game 23 points allowed they got 241 pass yards a game 195 rush yards and then for yards allowed they got 237 passing and 108 rushing so both these teams um, are pretty good statistically. There's no doubt on, on that. I mean, West Virginia's got a pretty good points per game to points allowed per game ratio, considering they do have three losses on the season. But at the same time, Iowa State is doing really good offensively. I mean, Brock Purdy has had a pretty good season for Iowa State. I mean, he's put up over 2,000 yards with 14 touchdowns and six interceptions. But believe it or not, the quarterback who's had a better season than Brock Purdy so far, believe it or not, is Jared Doge from West Virginia. He's had a great season, and this was kind of an unexpected thing uh, that has happened this, this year is, I mean, he's had a great season. 2,200 yards is what Doge has had, 13 touchdowns and three interceptions as well, which honestly, going into this season, I think when I had my Big 12 quarterback rankings back, I think in July or June or July, one of those months, I could put Jared Doge towards the bottom of the list of the Big 12 because I really did not think that he was going to be all that good of a quarterback, but believe it or not, he's actually been really good this season. Um, he's definitely been a top quarterback in the Big 12 this uh, this season, which has been crazy to see. But it's great for West Virginia, and it definitely should because West Virginia has had a pretty good season. Um, and I think the quarterback position being good has been a big reason for that. But we also see Bree Saul from Iowa State with 1,200 yards on the season, 16 touchdowns as well. So he has had a great season up to this point. Same thing with Brown from West Virginia. He's put up nearly 900 yards with nine touchdowns. So both teams have got good running backs too. There's 
that as well. I mean, you can't forget about that. Um, but yeah, both teams in general on the defensive side are pretty good on the rush defense. So you got to consider that coming into this matchup. So I think we might see a big passing battle between both these teams, uh, which will make it an interesting one for sure. Some key points for this one, West Virginia is definitely one of the dark horse Big 12 teams right now. I mean, even though they really haven't been ranked this season, they are still a good team. I mean, they're in the top half of the Big 12 right now as they're currently tied with Texas for fourth, pra for fourth place in the Big 12. So they are a pretty good team, and there's no doubt that they're talented enough to take down uh, one of the top teams in the Big 12, which in this case, Iowa State is next, which I think Iowa State still, I mean, they're definitely favored to win this game, but West Virginia will not make it easy for Iowa State at all, in my opinion. I think uh, West Virginia, once again, is a very talented team. They've got a lot of talent on this team. The quarterback position is looking pretty good this year, so I think they're definitely going to give Iowa State a fight at first. There's no doubt, but Iowa State, one of the hottest teams in the nation. I mean, this is a this is kind of a tough situation for West Virginia because you're, I mean, you haven't played in like three weeks and you're having to go up against possibly one of the hottest teams in the nation in Iowa State, which once again, Iowa State's knocked off Texas and Kansas State. I mean, let me remind you also, they shut out Kansas State 45 to nothing when they played them a couple of weeks back. So Iowa's coming off of two great wins along with two other really good wins with Baylor and Kansas. So Iowa State's won four straight and this is a team that's looking really good to possibly go on and win a Big 12 championship this season. But for, for West Virginia, I mean, this is going to be a tough game. There's no doubt on that. And for the impacts here, I mean, West Virginia is still very capable of making it to a good bowl game. So this is going to be crucial for them. And then for Iowa State on their side, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're going to make it to the Big 12 championship like they should be. Uh, but there still is a chance that they don't. I mean, if you think about it, like if Oklahoma and Oklahoma State both win this week, that puts Iowa State kind of in a weird position uh, especially if Iowa State loses here. So this is a crucial game for them. Uh, but for West Virginia on their side, I mean, if they want to make it to a good bowl game, this is a big uh, a big resume builder right here for them. But in the end, I've got Iowa State getting the win here. I think West Virginia, once again, is going to put up a great fight. It's going to be close for a good chunk of this game. I think at the halftime score, it's going to be 17 to 10. We're going to see more of a low-scoring first half. But in the second half, we're going to see things escalate a bit. It's going to be more of a high-scoring second half. Once again, Cyclones get the win, 38 to 27 is going to be the final score here. I just think all around, uh, Iowa State's just the better team. Brock Purdy is a great quarterback. Same thing with Jared Doge on West Virginia. Credit to him as well. But for Iowa State, I mean, this Cyclone team is definitely looking like one of the best teams that they've had in quite a while. And all around, the running back position is great for Iowa State with Hall. I just think the Cyclones are all around the better team. And their defense is also better. Can't forget about that as well. So I'm going to go with Iowa State here, 38 to 27 being the final score. But I'm not completely confident on this one. I'm going to go with 65% chance that Iowa State wins. So I'm not really going with a high percentage that the Cyclones get the win, but I'm still pretty confident that we will see Iowa State uh, leave with a win on Saturday. But in the end, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this one. Let me know your score predictions, all of that down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. But then again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. If you enjoyed this previous, drop a like on it and subscribe as it really helps with the channel. And I'd really appreciate that as well. But then again, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. I'll see y'all later.